I'm an addict for sneakers, 20s of Buddha and bitches with beepers In the streets I could reach her About it, bro. So what you out here for, bro? So what you trying to get? Hey, no Levi's. Levi's Jack. You gotta support the Levi's. Oh, I feel you, baby. I'm if trying you to. Ain't, if you ain't with it, you ain't gonna get it. You ain't gonna get it if you ain't with it, baby. Hey, you feel me, man? Money, power, mind, laughter, love, all combined in one miracle man. You can make me. You can make me a miracle man. Me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. One time for the fun time. So there you go. Hey. There you have it. This is Nate Triple OG. We out here in the field. Ten toes down. Loyal to the soil. About to get this Nike Levi jacket. My man's right here. Levi's. Got the knowledge. You got to respect the Levi's. Represent. We here. We got represent. it. You know what I'm saying? Levi's all day. All night. <laughs> all morning. All day. Man, all man, night. Man, all man, morning. Man. Hey, hey. We campers. We camping, baby. And there you have it. Catch you guys tomorrow on if the flip side. If you don't got spare time, then this ain't your time. <laughs> it ain't. Let's go. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is Nate Triple OG, the sneaker head hunter, the camper hunter. Now, this guy here, we found the camper that he fell asleep. Let's get up close and personal. He be out here all the time? There we go. We have the camper. He out here. Look, he's lit. Look Triple OG. OG. You better tune in. Yeah, yeah. Hit that like button. You already know. True. Chirac. We here. <laughs> <laughs> the people love me. Yo, so I'm out here with Q the Flu. He out there here in his line. Yo, about to get this Levi jacket. About to get this fire. You already know what time it is. How many jackets you trying to get today, Q? Just trying to get one, man. I just need my personal black and red jacket. So this, this my is my black and red Levi. So this, this is a personal pair for you? Personal, man. Personal jacket? Oh, okay. So like, if, if somebody, you know, I, I believe that everything has a price, you know what I'm saying? So what's the real price on that jacket? If you got that jacket and somebody wants to buy that jacket off you, what's that, what's that price? Uh, probably five. Five fifty. Five fifty. I had to pay for my uh, Levi's. Yeah, that, that's tough, man. Five fifty. Now I was talking to Q earlier. He told me that these jackets are already on StockX. The last jacket was going for five hundred. He told me. I haven't checked that, but I'll definitely check that and I'll put that right here and see what the price looking like. So if the jacket is going for five hundred. That's tough. I was just talking to some guys that was in line. They were saying that they're trying to flip the jacket for a thousand. That's absurd. I don't see that happening. As you can see, you know what I'm saying? It's nighttime out here. People are actually did getting this grind in. It's two o'clock in the morning. You know, it's tough. You know, I'm out here just trying to report, show y'all what's going on. I have no horse in this uh, race. I have no dog in this fight. So I'm about to go back to the crib, but I'm definitely going to be back here in the morning. Let's go ahead. Let's fast forward the time to the morning time. Let's get in. So there we go, yo. So we back out here. I wasn't gonna stay all night uh, to get no jacket. Okay, anyway, but you see Q got a horse right there. You know what I'm saying? He got the jacket. Anyway, that Levi jacket. Let's see the back of it, man. Let's see if that's fine. Got that fight on the back. You know, Levi tag right there. I don't wanna get on horse. Go back to the front. Anything else special about the jacket? And Levi tag right there. Underneath the arm. Get the arm up for me, Q. Got the uh, red underneath there. That's pretty cool, man. Nice jacket, man. It's really cool. So tell me what you guys think, man. Now, is it worth it if you was reselling it? If it's worth it, like if you was keeping it, let me know, man. Leave those comments down below. But hopefully, 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 we can get our hands on a pair of Levi Forrest and then we'll check those out, all right? Yo, it is so much going on today, yo. So you know everything's releasing today. We got the Yeezys releasing. You got the Levi's, the black ones. You got the Levi's, the cream ones. Then you had those jackets that everybody wanted. Man, so right now, we downtown. We on State Street. As you can see, I got Hamilton in the back of me. I don't know if you guys can see that but we got it there anyway we have the jordan store i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the symbol and see if you guys haven't been here before let's go ahead and get that got one. 
the white leaf all white okay so you know what i mean wanted to do something different today man wanted to put on a different pair of shoes don't wear everything that everybody else is wearing you know stay away from the sheeple stay away from the sheeple yo it's hot out here oh man summertime shot wow so we're back at the crib you know what i'm saying i didn't have the opportunity to get me a pair of those Levi fours. I did have the opportunity to get a size six and a half, but I felt like it's no point in me getting that six and a half because I can't fit it. I can't wear it. It's not worth anything reselling. That was the black pair, the black Levi pair. I was gonna do it on feet, but the person I was gonna do it on feet with, uh, I didn't like the energy that day, so I didn't do that. You know what I mean? I'm sorry that I didn't do that for you guys. But how did you guys like the jacket? That Levi jacket that was fire. The music that I'm playing inside the video, the little uh, part where we had like the little bit of B-roll, that's from one of my uh, subscribers. I can't remember his name right now, but yo, I'm gonna link his stuff down inside my uh, my the profile down below, so that you guys can check out his music. You know, he's trying to come up, and you know, I support I support whoever's supporting me. You know what I mean? So if you got any music, you got any good beats, any fire, you know that I can put inside the videos, I definitely will do that. Um, tell me what you guys think. Was that jacket really fire though? Was that Levi jacket fire? It was. Do you think it was worth camping out all night? You know, some of the guys that I talked to, they camped out like like for a couple days. You know what I mean? That's crazy. But the whole thing, they didn't camp out like straight, but they was going back and forth, checking up on the line. But if the line started and it started to get strong, they probably would have stayed out there. You know, that's crazy for that Levi jacket. Um, I was talking with uh, Measley G. Uh, he was out there, you know, uh, you know, I should have went with him. He had went to the Jordan store and got in line at the Jordan store because at first he was over at the Levi store on Michigan Avenue. But he ended up going to State Street, ended up staying out there for the rest of the night and ended up getting like three pairs. I mean, not three pairs. I think four or five jackets, all black denim. He said he ordered the white one from StockX, so that's 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 what's up. And he also had the shoes. You know, he hit on the he hit on the raffles, but due to my job, you know, I'm not able to hit on the raffles, and I don't have anybody to do those raffles for me anymore. Especially like those sneaker boutiques in Chicago. I really wish I did. You know what I mean? But you know, maybe next time, you know, I, I'll have my chance uh, to come up. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Um, I'm going to start doing like more interviews with the people that's out there. I think that would be dope, like interviewing the people that's actually out there camping inside the lines. Tell me, what did you guys think about that? I know the audio, I don't know if there's any issues with the audio, but it was really loud that night. It was nighttime. People had music playing, so you probably couldn't hear a lot of the stuff. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I think it was dope. Yeah, me personally, I'm not really feeling the Jordan trucker jacket. That's not for me. I'd rather have the shoes. I'm not a person that wear Jordan clothes like that. If I wear any Jordan clothes, I'm probably just wearing like Jordan shorts or something like that, basketball shorts, not the actual clothes. That's not something that, you know, I'm really into. You know, I can't really get into that. But I do appreciate the brand. Uh, I do like the collaboration. Um, it's just, I believe that, that that jacket for me, I don't think it's classic enough. It has the branding is like too big with the flight on the back. That's just for me. You know, I'm, I'm not saying that you have to be plain, but the looks that I'm looking for, you know, when it comes to buying clothes and things like that, I would buy something that's timeless, something that I can put on. It doesn't matter if I wear it in 2018 or 2028. You know what I mean? That when I put it on, you would just be like, hey, that's that's a nice that's a nice jacket. That's a nice shirt. You know, I'm not, I'm not really into like the branding like that and i know i know what you're thinking like but you had on the rsvp you know t-shirt it said rsvp all the way across it you know what i mean subtle branding even though it's really big i don't want to be the billboard you know but you know sometimes when it's fire it's fire you know every now and then you want to i guess ride the the wave you know what i mean but like i say in the video don't be the sheeple you know what i mean stay away from the sheeple be your own person, wear what you like, dress how you like. You know, that's just my opinion on the matter. You know, you can have your opinion. But at the end of the day, if you like it, you like it. If you want to rock it, you rock it. You know, do you. Don't let nobody else dictate what you guys are doing. And again, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. We're almost at 200 subscribers. Yo, we are moving fast. You know what I mean? I think we are like 185 or 180 something. At the end of the day, we are moving. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for tuning in. 
holler at you guys next time. As soon as we get to 250 subscribers, we're going to go ahead and get that next giveaway. Hopefully, I can like do the next giveaway video, show you what we are giving away. You know what I mean? Because we really do do the giveaways out here. Ask my man, Russell Wong. You know what I'm saying? Ask that guy. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you know, once we get to 250 subscribers, we will do another giveaway. It's going to be more fire, more excellence. You know what I'm saying? And that trophy room video is coming. I just got to put it together, man. It's probably going to be really short. But anyway, I know I'm just rambling now, but let me go ahead and get off the camera. Holler at you guys next time. Peace. No time